This is a short tutorial on how to record changes in LibreOffice 4.0. This is a particularly useful feature if you're ever collaborating with someone and they've sent you a document and you want to change the contents of that document and you want to make sure that they know what you've changed. The way to do this, the easiest way to do this, is simply to record your changes and then send it back with your changes recorded and then they can accept or reject those, which I'll show how to do in another tutorial. So how do you do this? Um, the easiest way to do this is to actually go up to edit, down to, oops, I lost it, changes. Right now it's showing the changes, which is important to do, but you wanna actually hit record, okay? Now that you've got record changes on, you can actually, let's say you wanna add some text here, adding text, right? Or if you wanna delete something, so I'm gonna delete this word here, Every change that you make is going to be tracked, okay? And if you actually mouse over it, you can see who did the tracking or who did the changes. So it's showing you exactly what happened here. So you can do this with all of these. So whatever changes that you make, it's going to indicate what they are. And there's also an additional kind of indication over here. So this is telling whoever you're collaborating with, a change was made right here. And then you can see what those changes are, right? And of course you can do all sorts of changes just like you would edit the document normally. Let's say that this sentence actually needs to be up here. Well, watch what happens. So it's gonna delete it down there and add it back up here. And you can see that it's changing all of these things. So it's a very simple way to track your changes in LibreOffice 4 and um, pass those on to somebody else so they can see what's been changed in the document. In addition to tracking your changes, Sometimes you need to be able to accept or reject the changes that somebody else has made. So at that point, you can either leave the recording on, right? Um, typically what you would do is actually turn it off. So now that you're gonna finalize those, you would turn off what you're recording and you would go down to changes, accept or reject. What LibreOffice does is it keeps track of every change in the document. And when you click on accept or reject changes, it's going to pop up this window and it's going to indicate this is how many changes were made, here's who did it, this is the date that they did it, and this is the kind of change that they did. So what you can do then is start moving through the document one at a time. So we're gonna go up to the very first one up here and you can decide whether or not you want to accept it or reject it or accept all of them or reject all of the changes. So it's pretty straightforward. If you want to accept this one, simply hit accept and all of the highlighting and information will go away. And you can just go all the way through your document, accepting or rejecting the changes. If you reject it, then it won't move. And that's it. Once you're done, just go ahead and hit close and that's it. Your document has now been um, modified to accept the changes and obviously you should save your document at that point.